And then the 64 looks just like it, but it's got nickel parts instead of chrome. It's just a little bit earlier. The 64 is like full-on George Harrison spec. This is just like the guitar is more than just a musical instrument, it's a symbol. A symbol of being one of the most important people on a musical stage because you are bringing some of the best beats. And true to the musicians who play them, there are a ton of different variations on how the guitar can look as well as sound. It's a very interesting thing if you can guess, but some people really go and make things unique with their guitars and leave people wondering what is going on. So allow us to show you 10 of the most unusual guitars of all time. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 10. Synthesizer Guitar The synthesizer is one of the most unique instruments ever made because it can convert a piano into an instrument that sounds just about like anything at once. From a deep pipe organ to something that mimics a guitar sound and more, it is very clever and fun to play. But what if you were able to go and do that with a guitar instead of a piano? Well, a German inventor was able to do just that. They were able to make a special add-on to a guitar that would literally turn the guitar into a synthesizer without needing a whole series of wires. All you need is the special skin layer, if you will, and attach it to the guitar. It works wirelessly to help convert the sounds that you make with the guitar into what you need from them, or want them to sound like. In return, you get a guitar that you can tune to your fun desires and make it be whatever you need it to be. It is a bit unusual for a guitar to be a synthesizer, we grant you, but given how simple it is to use, it'd be something most would at least want to try and have some fun with. Number 9. Emerald Guitars – Steve Vai Ultrazone Over the years, these emerald guitars, a product of Ireland, have been setting the bar for style and innovation. The unique framework and cool design have made it a popular guitar even today. Especially the Alien and Bahamut models were known for their amazing structure and revolutionary design. But what strikes us the most is the Steve Vai Ultrazone model, one of their best creations to date. This guitar not only exactly looks like the same one on the Ultrazone cover, but is functional as well. It is an exact replica of the one Steve Vai is holding on the album cover. This is an absolute case of life imitating art and we are not complaining. Though to be fair to those who don't know music history, they may not get the joke, and thus will wonder why the guitar looks the way that it does. But that's why we teach them, is it not? So they can learn. Number 8. St. Vincent Signature Ernie Ball Music Man Annie Clark of St. Vincent designed her signature guitar in collaboration with Ernie Ball Music Man. While a lot of artists simply make some cosmetic changes to a guitar, call it a custom, and then sell it at a markup, Clark has really built something amazing from the ground up. She brought her own designs to the Ernie Ball staff, and they worked closely to achieve something irregular and incredible. The guitar is light and comfortable, and because of its unique five-way pickup switch, players can achieve a tone similar to a Stratocaster or a Les Paul, depending on what settings you use. It is one of the coolest guitars on the market from one of the coolest musicians out there. In fact, she lovingly named the Polaris white version of the guitar after David Bowie, calling it Thin White Duke. Is it weird? Yeah, but that was kind of the intent, so can you really fault it? Number 7. Jackson Custom Shop Extreme Zodiac Series This is the kind of guitar you will find a rock star jamming on in a punk rock concert. A partnership of sorts between Jackson Guitar Company and the famous master builder Pablo Santana, the Extreme Zodiac series has been designed by the well-known graphic artist Craig Frazier. True to its name, the Zodiac features one Zodiac sign in each of its guitars in the collection. Add to that Jackson's classic Kelly Edge structure and warrior body, and you've got something very special, if not very unusual, obviously. These limited edition guitars perfectly complement the Santana jagged and rough style and are available for $7,400. But what really strikes people about this is the base of the guitar. Most guitars have a very basic and smooth curve to it that's easy to handle, but the jaggedness of this piece stands out from the crowd in meaningful ways. Now it is not for everyone, but there are plenty who will like it. Number 6. Cigar Box and Hubcap Guitars Now these are more DIY than anything else. There are tons of people out there making wacky guitars out of whatever is lying around the house and yard. Every little thing that goes into the construction of an electric guitar will affect its tone and resonance, and for some reason people really seem to love the sound of the wood in cigar boxes. The hubcap thing is actually more believable than you might think as the metal will help the sonic energy from the strings vibrate like a dobro style resonator guitar. If you want to learn more about how design and construction affect guitar tone, check out Ela Dean Anbar's Fundamentals of Guitar Anatomy article series. You might look at these guitars and think that people are just nuts for trying to make them like this, but that is not the case. 
This is actually a sign of ingenuity and creativity that they're able to go and make guitars out of the most basic of objects. And some of them have even gone on and made deep sounding guitars using water jugs from dispensers. So call it unusual all you want, that's fine, but do show some appreciation for the creativity of the user, okay? Number five, Katara. When you think of a guitar as a whole, regardless of shape, you know there's going to be certain things on it, mainly strings. You need the string to produce the sound regardless of whether it's a basic guitar or an electric one. However, when it comes to Katara, the world's first digital guitar, that is no longer the case. Yep, you heard that right. This is a full-on digital guitar and is honestly pretty impressive. It uses touch pads and digital sensors to acknowledge what is being played and how it should sound. Plus, like a certain guitar from before, it can be used as a synthesizer in order to further augment the sound and allow for a truly unique composition. Plus, it's theoretically easier to use as it's more forgiving. Number 4. Rhodes Jackson The Villainizer Everything about the villainizer, from the body to the design, screams punk. A one-of-a-kind custom-made guitar created by Rhodes Jackson V, it is a rugged and wild instrument reminiscent of the old Wild West. The jagged framework complete with gauges, gears, pipes, weld, and rust add on to that retro charm. Just the kind of thing you would expect in a rock or heavy metal concert. But sadly, this is a limited edition and not up for sale. Although you can get one made for yourself, super awesome features and added appeal make the villainizer an absolute rage among guitar enthusiasts. Plus, admit it, you like the way the name sounds, the villainizer. Number 3. Colin Furs Flamethrower Guitar Oh sure, now we have your attention. If you call the epic movie Mad Max Fury Road, you'll recall how certain road warriors had a guitar that could go and shoot flames out of the top of the neck. Well. YouTuber Colin Furs decided to go and make that happen in real life. Use basic parts to achieve it, so it's honestly not too hard of a build to do for yourself should you be a responsible guitar player. Does the world really need a flamethrower guitar? Well, that answer is an emphatic yes. Witness me! Number 2. Steve Vai's Heart Guitar this one honestly doesn't need too much of an explanation, does it? It's a heart-shaped guitar with two necks and Steve Vai is able to play it with the best of them. This one should really only be for the best of the best, or for the boldest of the bold, just saying. Number 1. Oversized Guitars There's a phrase that is used in all walks of life, and it is simply, bigger is always better. And we have seen some big guitars in our time, but for some people, they want oversized guitars and we are not just talking about ones with a big bass. We are talking about fully functional, giant-sized guitars that seem like they're built for mythical creatures to wield due to their size. Why do we need these unusual guitars? Mainly because they look cool and it's always fun to see someone play it like how it's supposed to be. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the guitars that have been brought out in history and made people's heads turn in one form or another? Can you believe the lengths that certain guitarists want to go and have a unique guitar to play with or a unique guitar sound? Which of these guitars do you think are the most unique of the bunch? Do you want to go and play one right now? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time on the channel.